Hey folks, today I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to add realistic puddles to your Unreal Engine scene using the Ultra Dynamic Sky and Ultra Dynamic Weather plugins. With just a few tweaks, we will create that fresh post-rain look that adds depth and realism to any environment. Let's dive right in and bring some life to the ground surfaces. All right, so the first step in creating realistic puddles is adjusting the surface where we want them to appear. In my scene, I'm aiming to add puddles on the asphalt. So I will start by heading over to the base material of the asphalt in the material editor. This is where we will make the necessary adjustments so get that wet reflective look on our surface. And as you can see, I just reassigned the asphalt material without any adjustment on its attributes. And let me just delete the Ultra Dynamic Weather plugin so we would be able to start from scratch. All right, everything looks good. And let's just select the surface and locate the material instance. It's right here. Let's double click and let's go to the base material. This is where we want to add some nodes to have puddles. The next step is to add dynamic landscape weather effect node to our material attributes. So I'm going to search for, let me see, weather and it's right here, dynamic landscape weather effects and bring it over here. But here's an important step since the final output node is set to receive a single material attributes connection, we need to use both get material attributes and set material attributes nodes to make this work. All right, here we have the get material attribute nodes and let's search for set material attributes and it's right here. Let's place it over here. And first we will place the get material attributes node to pull out key attributes like base color, roughness, metallic, specular, normal, and world position offset from our existing material. All right, now let's just connect this function to get material attributes. And I'm going to connect the base color to the base color, metallic to metallic, and so on. And beside these, we need to connect world position offset to dynamic weather node. So I'm gonna change one of these useless parameters to world position offset. Let's search for it and it's right here. And as you can see, now we have it in get material attributes node. So let's connect it. And after that, we will pass these modified attributes through the set material attributes node, allowing us to connect it seamlessly to the materials final output. This setup ensures that the dynamic weather effects apply smoothly to our asphalt material. And with that being said, let's just save our material and just go back to the scene. All right, guys, as you can see, we kind of have a wet asphalt surface. And let me just bring the Ultra Dynamic Weather plugin back to my scene. And then let me just set the weather on one of the presets. I'm going to select the rain. And now let's look for two important parameters within the Dynamic Weather Effects category puddle coverage and puddle sharpness. Puddle coverage parameter controls how much of the surface is covered by puddles. Increasing this value will spread the puddles across a wider area, creating that wet rain soaked look over the asphalt. And on the other side, puddle sharpness controls the clarity and sharpness of the puddle edges. A higher value will make the puddles appear more defined with crisp edges, giving them a more realistic look. And lowering this value, on the other hand, will make the edges softer and more blended, which can be useful if you want a more subtle and diffused puddle effect. And there you have it, folks, with just a few tweaks to the dynamic weather node and some adjustments to puddle coverage and sharpness, we've created realistic puddles on our surface in no time. I hope this quick tip helps bring your scenes to life with that extra touch of realism. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you want more tips like this. And thanks for watching and happy creating in Unreal Engine.